You are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No. No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself, the proliferating sick. Don't you fear getting sick yourself? Faith gives me all I need, my son. If I must fall, then so be it. No doubt your faith will prevail, but let me give you some extra protection against the devil's work. Medicine. Blessed be your generosity, my son. I have had enough for tonight. Goodbye. You again? What do you want this time? Can I offer you my medical expertise, Mr. Peterson? Keep your medicines for others. There is a thin line between pride and stupidity, sir. Please take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take it then. It's not like I don't appreciate the gesture. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Do you need help, sir? To be honest, I'd prefer you take a look at my stuff. I'd rather be rich and sick than the contrary. I don't quite agree, but I won't argue with you. Please, take this. You'll feel better. Really? Free? <laughs> don't take it personally, but charity usually comes at a price. Human nature being what it is. Right then. Show me what you have. No civilians allowed, sir. Are you stupid?
This could be the box Lewis thought he lost. <sighs> A love letter from Joe Peterson's wife addressed to Barrett Lewis. Who should I give it to, I wonder? Should. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? I found this box in an abandoned building nearby. I believe it belongs to you. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is mine. So, you face those loons that roam around there. Extraordinary. I suppose I was lucky. Luck is a commodity round here. Yours should be properly rewarded. About this package, it's not just tools and trinkets, is it? I want to be rude or anything after your kind gesture, but it's none of your business. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis.
number of cordial can be the answer to all your... Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Do you need my help? I would not even accept fresh water from you, Doctor. I don't need your help. Yes, you do. Please, take this. You'll feel better. I said I don't want anything. But I'll keep this for those who really need it. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Who is she? She is not... You say she... Well... Are you not... She... Are you in... Dorby? Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu.
Charlie. Are you all right? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Never heard of her. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. All right. Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Shut off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Goodbye, young man. <laughs> Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straight jacket, locked me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. It's a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. It's a dishonor to our profession. Now only the pills stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even scared of the dark these days. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? I always feel ill, sir. It's like I'm never right. I can try to help your body heal, sir. But you must stop destroying it. The war destroyed me, Doctor. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. distribute flowers at this hour of night.
game you pay for peace of mind. Can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? should never have taken up my father's business. Who distribute flowers at this hour of night?
This elixir. Suffering. 